Once upon a time, a little bottle named Botu had gone for an adventure in the sea. He happily swam across the ocean day and night looking for his dream home. However, after an endless journey in the sea, he could not find himself an island to depart. Hmm, he started to lose hope. <sighs> three months. I have been swimming here for three months. I don't know where am I going. I feel so lost and weak. Ouch! The endless adventure has now faced a climax. Boturu had a crash onto the ocean great Pacific garbage patch. He was so surprised to see his friends here. Boka! Hulu! Hey! So excited to meet you here! Run, Botoro! Run! Yeah, whoa, whoa, what happened? What's wrong, my friends? Boka and Hulu's expression is frightening. What happened to them? Ah! Help! Help! There's something biting me! Oh no! Something is eating Boturu, Pulo, and Boka. What happened to them? Boturu's body got digested. Oh no, it must be painful. Look, what's that tiny little blue thing on Boturu's body? <laughs> we are Ipionella, a plastic eating bacterium. We will eating all the plastic bottle here. We will loot the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, how do they feed on plastic bottles like Boturu, Boka and Pulo? Let's have a look in them to find out. Inside this evil little bacteria, there is a circular DNA which contains the PETA sequence. The PETA sequence in the bacterial DNA undergoes transcription and translation to produce PETAs. The PETase is an enzyme that breaks down the PET plastic by splitting the ester bonds in PET plastic polymers, smaller building blocks such as MHET, BHET, and TPA, and EG are formed. While the PETase breaks down the PET, the MHETase splits the MHET produced into two basic precursor building blocks of the PET, the TPA and EG. The bacteria will absorb the small molecules and use the carbon in the molecules as their source of food. Technically, the Idionella circinsis eats plastics. The plastic degrading enzymes are produced in the industry by inserting the gene that codes for the PETAs and MHETAs into a vector, which later is transformed into the competent bacterial cells. The production of PETAs enzyme in close biotechnological cycles breaks down PET plastics into their basic building blocks. The PET plastics are recycled in a close sustainable production and recovery cycle. The production of PET plastics no longer dependent on crude oil which is non-renewable resource. The PETase enzyme can be a long-term solution to the plastic pollutions, one of the world's biggest environmental problems.